So prepare a rolling or continuous budget. And the idea of the rolling or continuous budget is for us to update the budget after each time period. So as a period goes by, say a quarter goes by or a month that goes by, then we're going to update the budget so that we're always looking out a year into the future. So as the quarter goes by in our example here, we then recalculate the budget and we look out a year out so that we're always looking out that year into the future. We're going to update the budget as we go, as we roll through the process. We'll do the same thing for the next quarter. So it would look something like this. We have the standard yearly budget and then a quarter goes by. We're going to reset the budget. We're going to look out a year based on that new information. As we do this, you can see that it has a few benefits of it and some costs, of course. One of the costs is it's going to be more expensive for us to think about how are we going to reset the budget after each period that goes by. One of the benefits is going to be that we can have that comparison as we go through this. We can have that whole communication process again as we reset the budget, as we think about how it goes out a year out. And we can always have, be thinking a year out into the future. So when we consider the budget, we're always kind of viewing one year out into the future. And you can think of it as a car driving down the road. You can only see as far out as your headlights go. Well, the headlights are always going, you know, a year out into the future. They always have that standard set, that standard look as we are budgeting through uh, the process. So we can think of those headlights staying out there, giving us that focus as we drive down the road.